Um, so let's see. Where do I want to start with this? Show? Oh, of course, tranny fart porn. How how could I start this stream with any topic other than tranny fart porn? Uh, to to discuss tranny fart porn, I must actually reveal to everyone. Perhaps many of you do not know this because it just happened recently. Uh, Elon Musk, um, the most besed person to ever live, the best African that has ever walked the earth, uh, has lifted his indefinite suspension of my personal uh, Twitter account or Zitter account on the social media platform formerly known as Twitter. So tw uh, x dot com slash the letter X Josh X Josh. It's five letters. Pretty easy, pretty base actually. That I managed to snag such a nice username because uh, it's me, it's Josh, but it's X Josh because I'm on X. And as you can see, uh, uh, Elon Musk has suggested me some interesting follows, maybe people I want to pay attention to, such as Sallow Don, who I've never heard before, but he's followed by Den, so that's interesting. Randy Leahy, who is on the Kiwi Farms. I've known him, I think he's been around for a long time. And then Kami Dick Girl. Elon Musk believes that I would be interested in following Kami Dick Girl. <clears throat> Wrong, Elon. It's the other way around. Um, but if we scroll down a little bit, there is a little thread. I've gotten into the Twittering again. I've started posting threads, so I'm rapidly becoming more retarded by the second... Um, but it was revealed today because one, one of my hosts that I had thrown up uh, on the A record list because I go through hosts a lot, right? So I, I just routinely like plug in random hosts I know about and say, oh, let's see what happens with them. So there's this uh, offshore hosting provider called Alex Host. Alex is based out of um, Moldova or the uh, um, the the western <laughs> western transnistria as it's sometimes called or Predinstrovi, they don't like to be called transnistria or the moldovenia people's republica uh but um they have a data center in uh, chisinau i believe it's called that's right right moldova's capital is chisinau anyways they have a data center and they also have a location in uh amsterdam not amsterdam it's somewhere in in the netherlands um their data center in Moldova itself is a no-go because their upstreams are um, Voxility and Voxility is one of the most politically active uh, ISPs in the entire world They were the first ISP to boot 8chan off so that, that's like a no-go But then they had a, a pretty interesting mix in Amsterdam or in the Netherlands And I thought okay fuck it I'll try there and after a couple days, I received yet another volley of uh, revenge pornography. So uh, the guy named Sean, who people are pretty sure is psychic espion, but I don't know that for sure, who's been helping Liz Fong Jones do all the busy work, just like be his, you know, Liz Fong Jones's whipping boy, taking orders and marching orders from a tranny, one of the grossest trannies in the entire world who's been incredibly accused of rape. Um, the guy that takes the marching orders from that tranny, has been uh, whittling down his template email for what is the most effective. And he's discovered that ISPs don't really seem to care about anything except revenge pornography. So he's been going around trying to find any instances of pornography on the website that he can claim as revenge pornography. And uh, I have censored all of those uh, so far just to see what happens because I've never tried censoring stuff. I have a long-term plan for that, but for in the short term, let's just see what happens if I give the ISPs who do not talk to me. I literally never get an email from the ISP saying, hey, uh, take this down. It always goes to a host saying, delete this website immediately. Um, so I never actually talk to these ISPs who are censoring me. It's kind of like with the credit card payment processors. I just get notified by the intermediary bank that they can't let me, uh, can't let me do business with them. It's just like, it's, it's that fucking shadowy and opaque. But sometimes I do uh, end up getting the actual complaints and I know what they're complaining about. One of the things that Sean... Uh, taking marching orders has complained about that has gotten action is the entire Keffels thread, uh, among which has included a very famous video chat um, called The Queen's Fart Throne. Now, this is a pinnacle of the pornographic arts. Um, it is a video in perspective, a fat Italian tranny from Canada 
points a machete at you and says that you're a sick fuck and you've been waiting for this. And then he squats over and places his butthole directly in the camera lens and the focal point. And then he goes <laughs> like with his lips and he produces with his lips fake farts. Now, uh, Queen Kafal's the uh, fart femdom dominatrix from Canada uh, sold this video, despite being a communist, apparently they believe in property rights, and sold this video on the internet for money, uh, for pay pigs, literal pay pigs to pay uh, for the pr pleasure of being fart femdommed in Queen Kafal's fart throne. Uh, Caffles has vaguely complained that the thread is quote unquote revenge pornography, but all the pornography of Caffles in that thread is commercial pornography that Caffles sold for money at two different points in his life, 10 years apart. There is no way by U S law in every state. It is not, it is no longer an intimate image. It is a commercial product. So when, um, I get the complaint to take down this thread because it's quote unquote revenge pornography. I reply to the ISP directly and I say, I invite you to look at this video. Here's the link to the Queen Cafal's uh, fart throne. And I want you to watch it and I want you to tell me if you actually think that this is revenge pornography or if this is a, a video that someone made for money. And uh, they did not, they refused to take up my offer. They refused to look at the video and said so they told me, uh, you must take down this thread, this page that's being complained about because the ISP, the higher up, the tier one is, is making us take this down. And uh, I did not get a reply from them inviting them to watch the Queen Kafal's uh, fart throne video. So um, I told them terminate my service. I don't care. I'm not going to fight to keep it up if you're going to make me censorship, uh, especially shit that doesn't make any sense. So I, I have determined through a uh, process that literally they do not even check the links to apparently make any, they do two things which are contradictory. A, they make content-based moderation decisions that impact the entire internet and every single person on the planet who has an internet connection. So they have one of the most uh, authoritative positions in the entire world in terms of who can see what, where, when, why. Then point number two, they also don't check it. So they exercise incredible um, power, and uh, but they clumsily and arrogantly and uh, ignorantly apply it to whatever complaint they just so happen to receive. So it doesn't even have to be um, something that they would actually consider to be a non-consensual product because you cannot watch the, the Queen Cafal's fart, fart Throne video and come to the determination that this was a video that was made for like an intimate partner that was released out of mean spirit. The only conclusion that you can get watching that because of the exact language used by Cafal's is that it is a video produced for monetary purposes, for monetary gain, because it, it says, you give me money, so now I'm going to fart on you. Like there's no, literally, there is no way to watch that video and then be like, oh yeah, this is like, a, it's supposed to be a private thing between consenting adults. Like, no, that was a product sold. So not, again, to reiterate, these ISPs are not only enforcing arbitrary um, law, which I mean, they, they should not be doing any kind of content moderation fucking period, unless it's obviously child pornography or unless it's malware or some kind of network abuse, they have no right to try and interfere with the free and open internet. But then point number two, they don't even watch it. If they get a complaint from some guy named Sean at my name is Sean at gmail.com, just as an example, it's not the real email address. And they says, this is revenge pornography and it's not even Keffel's. And as far as I know, I've actually been told by some of the people whose links he's using as non-consensual pornography evidence that they are not endorsing this. This is going against their will. It's just shit that's being used without their consent. So literally while claiming non-consensual pornography, Sean and his tranny handler, his rapist tranny handler are not using, not getting consent of the people whose videos that they're using to try and take it down from the internet to begin with. And then the ISPs don't actually watch it. And I just say, take it down.
and they don't want to talk to you. They're not going to negotiate with you. They're going to operate through intermediaries, and the intermediaries, they don't have any decision-making power. And they're just going to be like, well, you know, Hurricane Electric says that it's revenge pornography, even though it's just obviously weird tranny fart fit fetish videos that were posted voluntarily on the Internet. Uh, you still have to take it down. So that's literally, like, the level of insanity that has been reached is like Kafka-esque. It's it's nonsense. It's literal nonsense that anyone on its face can look at and say, yeah, this is fucking nonsense. So that is my 10-minute uh, rant about tranny fart porn. Um, and I, I find it funny because it's like, if you out of all the, the content on the forum to try and utilize as a point of contention against me, I would guarantee you the one that not only it would be the least effective, but also is probably the most humiliating to Keffels himself, is the fart throne video. So if he wants to continue to send the fart throne video to everybody on the internet, if he wants to send Dave Schaefer, CEO of Cogent, the fart throne video, I want ever I want the fart, the Keffel's fart throne video to be like the new shock video of this generation. Like no longer will it be meat spin or lemon party. It's the fart throne dot org video of Keffel's farting at the camera menacingly. Uh, I'll, I'll show everybody. I'll show everybody. Watch me, motherfucker. You want to press this? I'm crazy. I'll go to Congress. I'll submit this as evidence in Congress and try to get my uh, my congressman, Matt Gates to submit to evidence to the Library of Congress, the Queen Falls fart throne video, and I will make all those wrinkly old Jews in Congress watch the Queen Falls fart throne video. I will, I will do this. I, I will go. I will sit there with a neutral expression for three minutes as Keffel's farts at at um, Nancy Pelosi. And I will I will make this a, 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 a cornerstone of American law in our legislative history. And it will never go away ever. I will do this. This is what I will do. This is, I, look, listen. <laughs> Don't tell me. I'm not joking. I will literally do it. I will fly back on an overnight transatlantic flight. I will rent a cheap suit and I will sit there in Congress while Keffel's farts. And I, <laughs> I'll make it happen. Okay. Yeah, go to the UN. Chairman Nigabago Chagbadabado of the Human Rights Tribunal. Is this or is this not commercial pornography? He's like, uh, I do, I do believe that that is a uh, uh, tranny foot porn, and it is not a, a non-consensual pornography. And I'll, I will just be cleared at the UN. I'll be, I'll be getting a cornflower blue medal, a gold medal to take home. All right, <laughs> I really want to. I do. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I, uh, I will drive this country to madness, to absolute madness. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.